In this video, we'll cover top 5 conceptual questions often asked in Python interviews. This is part of our ongoing series where we cover interview questions on a diverse set of skills. And before we begin, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more such interesting learning content. Alright, this question is, why do we need different data types in Python? Can't we just use one type for everything? Well, that's a great question. Imagine you are packing for a trip. You wouldn't use the same suitcase for your clothes as you would for your fragile souvenirs, right? The same concept applies to data in Python. Different data types act like specialized suitcases for different kinds of information. So first comes efficiency. Let's say you have a variable to store uh, someone's age. It would be a waste of space to use a complex data type that could hold massive amounts of data when a simple integer or a whole number type is perfectly sufficient. This helps Python use memory efficiently, which is especially important for larger programs. Another important factor is accuracy. Think about calculations. If you are working with prices that might have decimal places, you wouldn't want to use a data type that can only store whole numbers. Finally, you need to think of readability. Using appropriate data types make your code much easier to read and understand both for you and anyone else looking at it. This question is, how can we check the data type of a variable in Python? Well, that's where the type function comes in. Think of type function as a handy label checker. Just like label on your luggage, type tells you what kind of data a variable holds. It's super easy to use. Let's say we have uh, three different variables, age, name, and is happy. For checking their data types, all you need to do is to call the type function on them. Uh, type ensures you are using the right data type for calculations and operations. This question is, why is indentation so important in Python compared to other languages? Well, unlike uh, some other uh, languages that use curly braces, Python relies on indentation, basically spaces or tabs, to define code blocks. It might seem strange at first, but trust me, it's like a secret handshake that makes Python code clean and readable. Think of indentation as a visual map of your uh, Python program. It tells Python exactly which line of code belongs together within loops, conditional statements like if and else, and functions. Incorrect indentation throws a wrench in the works, leading to errors. Here's how indentation works. See the difference? The first example uses uh, proper indentation to define the if and else blocks, while the second one is indented incorrectly, which would cause Python to complain. This question asks, what are the benefits of using functions in Python? Uh, to start with, think of uh, functions like tools in your coding toolbox. You create a function once with a specific task like calculating an area or checking if a number is even. Then you can uh, reuse that uh, function throughout your program whenever needed. This reusability part is fantastic. It saves you time and effort by not rewriting the same code multiple times. It also keeps your uh, code organized and modular, making it easier to understand and maintain, especially for complex programs. Functions also improve code readability. You can give them descriptive names that uh, hint at their purpose. This makes your uh, code uh, self-documenting like uh, labeling tools in your toolbox. So functions are like uh, code superheroes prompting uh, reusability, organization, and readability. All right, this question is, what are the different comparison operators used in Python? So this is another essential concept, which is uh, comparison operators. Comparison operators act like uh, judges in your Python code, comparing values and returning verdicts of true or false. They help you make decisions and control the flow of your program. Here are some common uh, comparison operator in your Python arsenal. So namely, there is uh, equal to, not equal to, less than, greater than, less than or equal to, and greater than or equal to. Here's a quick exhibit of operators in action with this Python code snippet here. So there you have it. The next time you appear for an interview, I hope these questions help you ace it. And if you want an answer to any specific question, let us know in the comment section below and we'll get back to you. The next video in this series will soon come out uh, to our channel. Hit the bell icon so that uh, you do not miss uh, whenever that new video comes out. Till then, goodbye and happy prepping.